Yeah, I'm gonna. You can get some recording shots of it moving. I'm gonna try to keep its speed slow while I bring it up closer to the base and away from further pirate attention. Sure. And then we, we can discuss the uh, hull itself, the tweaks I've done to it, because the author of the hull just said you can do whatever the heck you wanted with it, really. Cool. Um, get my cursor and posi uh, camera in position here. And stop colliding with the station. I'm not. I'm over here. Well, it, it looks like something hit bumped to that mini Enterprise over there. Um. There we go. All right. In position. It looks awesome. It is truly a great piece of work. There's a lot of detail here. Yeah. yeah. The um. Whole design is by a uh, interruption. The whole design is by a player named Info on the Stunade forums. Yeah. I have no idea how much time he put into it, but he paid a lot of attention to detail, starting with a skeletal frame and working his way outward. He uh, the model ships as more or less an empty hull with with a very rudimentary power system and a set of engines. It also comes as a very rudimentary set of weapons. The okay. hull inside is cavernous when you first get it. Yeah. And there's a lot of detail, and there, it comes with, with at least a completed shuttle bay and a completed bridge module. Now, changes from the stock version I have done to this model include all, it is swapping the weapons completely. Instead of having a block of antimatter cannons, I have split them up from 6 to 12. And they all have uh, a damage output of 253 per cannon bank, which amounts to a total DPS of uh, 3,062 points of damage per burst. Okay, um, you don't really need to see the weapons firing, they, they do fire pretty quickly though. Um, I'm just inside at the minute. Yeah, I kind of figure we're, I'm in build <coughs> mode. Yeah, I'm just sort of having a little look-see around here. Oh nice, okay, we've got a warp core. Yeah, that is not part of the original model, I've built that in over cool. the uh, couple weeks. Yeah, nice. Good idea. There's a deflector dish. And oh, now this. I remember this from the movies. This bit here. What is this? Can you see where I am at the moment? Um, you're in the bridge, right? No, I'm in the middle at the back, I think, somewhere. Shuttle bay? Oh, yeah. that, yeah. That was part of the original model. Oh, except nice. I added the uh, plex doors afterward because the model did not come with working shuttle doors. Oh, I see. I decided to throw it in for extra authenticity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and it means nobody can just sneak aboard and steal my shuttles. <laughs> did you get that happening? <laughs> no, but I decided to be better be safe than sorry. Yeah. It came with one shuttle by default, which was docked to the forward-most uh, docking, uh, docking port here. I probably should get out of build mode so you can see. Are you stuck? No, I'm just coming up the corridor. I'm in the dish now. Whoa. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong person. Oh, I'm uh, the guys. The, yeah, I've got uh, another character in, a, in the surfboard. I'm looking at someone named Tomino Sama. That's me. Wow. Yeah, it's showing like you him. outside of the ship, jittering around like a. Uh. 
Let me look at the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should still be just waiting there by an airlock. Oh, yeah. Let's go up the stairs then and see what else we've got. This is truly awesome, this ship. It's much huge. Yeah, it is. I uh, When I have got the ship, my first... Uh, and uh, my first impulse was to take every visible docking port and make it its own deck. Right. And so then separate the decks by function. Like you got the engineering deck where the warp core is. Mm -hmm. You got the shuttle deck, which I intend to expand upon to make room for more shuttles. Because you can see I did not close off those entry ports to the deck. Yeah. Then you got the uh, torpedo deck, which is above engineering. Aha! Uh -huh. I found the bridge! Yes, and you found the bridge. The bridge was not directly connected to the rest of the, with the rest of the saucer. I had to build a, a sort of staircase to go up there. Oh, uh, okay. Because I didn't want to have to take and flow up to it every time I wanted to use the storage. Just right. lazy me and not wanting to... Uh, I like the position of the camera so you can see the seats, you know. Yeah. Kind of authentic. Yeah. Nice. Um, you, if you also if you've uh, seen the motion picture, the 1980s motion picture, yeah. there's another little Easter egg. If you go behind the bridge. Behind the bridge. Yes. Walk along the corridor on the side of the bridge, and you get around to the back end. Yeah, and there's um. Yeah, and there's a, an airlock. Yeah. And in the movies, that's where Spock's shuttle connected to the ship. Uh, nice. Little touch there. And below the bridge module is the observation lounge. Complete with a view of both nacelles, like in the DVD uh, remastered version of the motion picture. <laughs> it's an awesome view, really. I like that. I like it a lot. It is cool. Now, um, you can see the, uh, from the main saucer deck what the uh, various, the 12 various antimatter cannon banks that I sort of tried to flatten out to be flush oh, in with the, uh, uh, the hull. Well, in no, the in the saucer. In the, the saucer. saucer. No, hang on, I'm just going down. Going down. Oh yeah, I can see antimatter cannons. I, I the the uh, can the original <coughs> design I had for the cannons is one massive block sitting on top of these uh, pillar things. Yeah. And then I thought to myself that uh, while it might make them more compact and harder to hit, it'd probably be better if you had like more cannons to in total so you have more firepower yeah that way you can deal rip apart an opponent faster so I split them up into 12 banks and made them flush with the ceiling so more or less okay so there's like 12 of these each individual bank has an output of 253 cool and uh, the only downside to this is that uh, the energy si uh, energy network the regenerate and the power capacity might get a little bit behind if I try to improve it any further. Because it's only got a regen rate of a million flat, more or less. You'll only get 1.2 out of it though, even if you get a perfect reactor at the moment. That yep. seems to be... I've seen posts in the forums and they had done uh, some pure maths. 